Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Have a busy day today. We are going to the gym and then we have to go by Sephora. I'm looking for a new concealer. Then we're going to test drive the Jeep Grand Cherokee. So this is your gentle reminder to get your booty up on this beautiful Saturday morning and get to the gym and get your cardio in, sis. Let's go. <laughs> all right guys i am back from the gym the gym did a number on me i've been working out all week and i swear <laughs> today was hard i mean it was really hard and i'm still kind of sore but i'm washed up i'm ready to go um, i'm gonna go to test drive the jeep now because it's getting a little late and i'll go to sephora um after that but before we do we have an amazon packet these shirts are kind of like fitted and you can wear them to work out in or you can wear them you know like around outside so yeah here they go oh i love this stretch on these and they have the little ruching on the sides i got black and i got uh i think it's called tea olive i'm putting this one on it's super stretchy oh my gosh i love it so let's go all right so here is the shirt i absolutely love it it's so cute it's like fitted it's very stretchy and i'm just gonna wear my jeans with some sandals or some slides and i absolutely love it it looks super cute it's the small things for me guys <laughs> And ordering something off Amazon and it actually looking like you want it to look is a win. Okay? All right, let's go. <laughs>
All right, guys, we are here at Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is Robert, guys. How you guys Hi. doing? What's going on? Girl? He is going to help me determine which Jeep Grand Cherokee is good for me. So this is a limited. Mm -hmm. This is a limited that's not blacked out. I'm going to start there Okay. because I know you want blacked out, but I, you know, would be remiss if I didn't at least show you the difference between a black appearance package and a regular limited, okay? Right, great. So regular limited, telltale sign is we got a lot of chrome going on here. Mm -hmm. Some people like the chrome, uh, some people don't. Yeah. Grill is chrome, you do have LED lights. You also have LED fog lights as well. Mm -hmm. uh, this particular one has 18 inch wheels. Okay. Blacked out grill, blacked out tires. I like this. I never had a white car before. Let's call that the storm trooper. Oh. Really? Thank you. Okay, cool. All right. So, this is nice. with the altitude, right? Yeah. You'll notice it looks very familiar to the limited, right? Mm -hmm. The only telltale sign that you're noticing to make this really um, obvious that it's not a limited mm -hmm. is in the front. You, you have LED lights, but you don't have fog lights. Okay, you don't have fog lights. Not on the altitude. Altitude is essentially. The Laredo is the base model, okay? Yeah, Laredo. So at altitude is a Laredo, mm -hmm. but then they said, we need to give these customers a little more to justify them you know, paying this price. Mm -hmm. So what they did was take a Laredo, changed up the seats a little bit. I'll open it up for you so you can see. But then they blacked everything out so you don't have the chrome because a normal Laredo is still going to have the chrome. Yeah. You will not have um, a power lift gate, which you do on the altitude. Okay. On a Laredo, you will not have remote start. You do on the altitude. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you see you have the blacked out 20 wheels, just as if this was a limited, you mm -hmm. know? Um, but on a limited, and both of them are optional, um, but on a limited, you can get a sunroof, right? And on an altitude, you get a sunroof. Is it panoramic sunroof? See, that's what I was getting at. On, oh. on a limited, you get a panoramic sunroof. On yeah. an altitude, you would just get a normal sunroof. Oh, you guys, take, you guys hear that? Take notes. You don't have any little circles here on the bumper. Yeah, I noticed that. Yes, that's because you have a rear park. You have rear parking sensors, but you don't have front on the altitude. Okay. Now that is not a standard feature that you even get on a limited, mm -hmm. but it is optional. You do not have the option on an altitude. Okay. I will say that, not to trash the limited or anything. Mm -hmm. Altitudes, price point wise, are our best sellers. Okay. Um, because you do get a lot of the features of the limited. Uh, while you do not get a full leather seat, if you look inside, you can kind of see uh, the style of the seat that you're going to So you get the suede. Mm -hmm. with the leather on the outside. Okay, I see that. This is actually perfect. You have a, a nice balance. You have a heated seat and you have a heated steering wheel. Mm -hmm. Main, I won't even call it a drawback. We'll say difference between a, going to a limited versus a altitude, right? This is an 8.4 inch screen, right? Mm -hmm. Now you had a Grand Cherokee before. 8.4 yeah. inch screen was the largest screen you could get at the time. Yeah. Now it is 10.2. So a 10.2 screen essentially would encompass from here to there. Whereas you have the 8.4 inch screen now, right? Okay. On an altitude, what's nice is on a limited, even if you get a black appearance package, because you're paying about $2,200 for that black appearance package, right? Mm -hmm. To make it blacked out. But you would get a partition here. Even in the altitude, they actually give you a wireless charging pad right there. So okay. that's not something that you get standard even going up to a limited, that you're getting standard in an altitude right there. Nice. Yes, ma'am. Safety right. features are all going to be the same. Adaptive cruise control lane keep assist, mm -hmm. blind spot monitoring. So across the board, you're, you're not losing any safety features, okay? Okay. I have a power driver seat. You do have a manual seat right there. It doesn't, I don't know how much you care that's about the passenger, be... you know what I mean, but no, you know. that's fine. <laughs> so this is standard. Yes, ma'am. And then power. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So I'm test driving the Jeep Grand Cherokee Altitude right now. It actually looks quite the same as a limited. How the seats are like they're big they're wide yes ma'am i don't feel like i'm squished in the seat so so yeah robert is really like going over all the details for me so if you're in the charlotte area and you are looking for a jeep grand cherokee definitely come and look for him yes, look for robert how do you uh adjust the steering, adjust steering wheel, wheel? yeah okay. so underneath in the middle mm -hmm. you feel a little latch keep going further down yes oh, ma'am pop that down okay Yep, so oh. it, it telescopes, you can bring it toward you. It might be all the way towards you. you I think so, yeah. yeah. There you go. Okay, cool. I like and then it. you just lock it in when you're done. I like it up, so. Yes, ma'am. Oh, 
guys I'm in love like I like the truck um, I'm sure we can go a, a higher level and be even more happier but this just I feel so at peace in here so all right guys I'm about to go test drive I will talk to you later so you'll have two limits I mean you'll have two different buttons and areas for a uh, sports mode mm -hmm. on the altitude is here on a 4x4 limited it's a toggle switch that lets you select mud snow or sand and mm -hmm. then the fourth option is going to be your sport mode down all there. here yes ma'am okay, it'll be cool. a little toggle switch and i'll show you that later okay Luxury one and luxury two. All right, this is luxury two, and we know this because a normal limited would not have the wireless charging pad. As you can see, you have that though, right? Mm -hmm. Ten point two. A normal limited does not necessarily have to have ventilated seats. You have that as well, right? Mm -hmm. Let's start this up so you can see something real fast. So you got a digital mirror here, as you can see. But if you hate it, it just turns into a regular mirror. What's nice about the digital display is, um, let's say you're going down a dimly lit road, mm -hmm. because it's a camera, it can pretty much keep the light. It can, it's a, it's gonna have a clear picture versus you depending on yeah. the light of the vehicle behind you or outside lights to kind of like, mm -hmm. what, what type of cars is behind me tailgating me? This is gonna oh. be able to clearly see it versus you know, all you really seeing in a regular mirror like this mm -hmm. are headlights that are kind of blinding you in the mirror. You have. Dual power seats, eight-way adjustable power seats. You have memory seats as well. So if we have uh, another person driving the car, yeah. they adjust the seat. You can just readjust yours by clicking a button. You don't have to sit here and play with it to get it adjusted. Also, remember before you asked me how did we um, adjust the steering wheel we yeah. from under the bottom. Yeah. Now we have a power telescope right here with a little button, a little toggle that allows you to just bring that in and out, forward and out, up and down. Paddle shifters. Uh, and of course, you have the tune and the volume. Exactly, exactly. And now you see the 10.2. Mm. Yeah. Um, Love it. Those are going to be your main things. Engine transmission is the same. But now we have nav standard navigation. Guys, this is it. Like, she is her, and I am she. Them white toes look real good in this car, honey. Them white toes look good in this car. All right, and let's hear that nice thud that the door makes when you close it. Oh, love it. That thing is charging. If you, I don't know if you can see or not, but it's charging. With the case on it. Luxury two, you see the circles? I got front sensors here. Yeah. Even on this regular limited, I do not have front sensors right here. Yeah. On the altitude, and this that looks like an L. That's an L. That's an yeah. altitude L. Okay. Next to it is a two row though. So it has a sunroof, which is nice. Yeah. It's not a panoramic. But you notice, instead of the fog lights, we got these little black little planes right there. Mm -hmm. Which doesn't look bad. Nope. And to the average person, you really can't tell the difference that much. Nope. Even right here, this is a uh, altitude. How can you tell? Tell me. It has a no fog yeah, light exactly. and it has just a regular yes, sunroof, yes, but it looks good. Now, what is that? That is the sunroof. Okay, I'm not gonna touch that. That's the big dog. Yeah, I can tell. Us. Now, I can this tell. Is, this is the problem with this summit, right? Yeah. It's got air rod suspension, just like Ooh, a Range Rover, right? Look at that peanut butter. You notice right here on all my Grand Cherokees, mm -hmm. whether it be a Laredo all the way up to a Limited, yeah. with the Black Appearance package on it. This is the altitude, but you see, I have my paint and my fenders are are black. Yeah. When you go to a summit, you see how they paint the fenders yeah. just to give it a little extra depth. Um, <laughs> you see the seats interior-wise. Beautiful. We, we get a little different seat right there. Yeah. Beautiful. It's probably not. But you see how the seats, Ooh, extra bolstering in on them. 
it sits higher because it has the air ride suspension like your Range Rover did. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but here's the thing. This thing is... <clears throat> How much is it? 67. Okay. After taxes, before rebates, basically at 70, right? Yeah. So now you're looking at me like, Robert, dang, like a payment on this car is probably going to be like... 15, maybe? Nah, like 12, 1300. Okay, okay. So in your mind, though, when you say those type, when we up there like that, we getting dangerously close to Mercedes Benz, yes. Audi, you know what I mean? Yeah. So they sometimes when it comes to the Grand Cherokees, while they're excellent vehicles, they start to not make sense once you get higher up. a certain up. price point. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> So I hope y'all enjoyed that footage of the Jeep Grand Cherokee Altitude and the Jeep Grand Cherokee Limited. Rob was so nice. He knew so much about the Jeeps. Like, I, I just couldn't get it all in there. I'm definitely in love. I'm not going to lie. So put your comments down below about your experiences with the Jeep Grand Cherokee and if it's a good car that I should move forward with. I went to Sephora. As you saw, I could not film in Sephora. They said no, no filming. So, um, but I did get some things. Got this Good Girl by Carolina Herrera blush. Smells so good. I remember smelling this and I remember saying to myself, I have to get it. Now this retails for $163. Um, so it's a pretty penny, but it's so worth it. And this is how the bottle looks, guys. Look how cute it is. Absolutely love it. Love, love, love it. Smells so good. I got the milk primer. Uh, I heard great things about this. And so I want to try this as a base for my concealer. I got this Sephora lip pencil it's in the color so it's in the color molasses and it's by sephora um i also got the sephora xl nude this is one of their this is one of their plump effect lip glosses I absolutely love this color it's so freaking pretty and then i got the hourglass full coverage concealer i absolutely love this concealer um i tried it on in the sephora and it was it just it's perfect guys like this is a really good concealer so if you're looking for a concealer try out hourglass full coverage concealer and then the last thing i got was this um anastasia lip gloss this is so pretty so this is the anastasia lip gloss and this is in the color color peachy nude by anastasia guys look at that color that's all i got from sephora is the concealer the primer and some lip some lip combo so i can look you know like a baddie <laughs> anyway so i hope you guys enjoyed this video next week we're going to be test driving the mercedes gle i'm super excited i might add lexus onto the list as well but guys, stay tuned for that video. And until next time, be blessed, be motivated, and be inspired. Love you guys.